Let's start working on question 3.2 here. So we have a firm which sells its products on the market for a price P. Now the production depends on how much effort the workers put. Okay, let's assume that there's one worker and the production technology is described by the Q equals to theta times E. Uh, now, what else do we have? We have the utility of the worker, which is based on his wage and his cost of effort. We also have the participation constraint over here. Now in part A, suppose that the firm observes the worker's effort and we want to see what would be, what would be the wage, so the profit maximizing, the profit maximizing level of the wage and the level of minimum effort. Uh, all right, so we have to take into account the worker's participation constraint. What does that mean? Meaning that the worker must get at least the same utility he would get in a different company. So our first step is to think about how we can attract the worker to the company. And the second step would be to think how the company can maximize his profits based on what he has to pay. Because the wage he must pay to the worker is a cost for the company and he must pay it in such a way that it's profitable for him. So let's see that. So first things first, right? We have the participation constraint. That's our first step over here. Now we said that the participation constraint is when he gets the utility at least the same as the alternative utility. Now we know the utility function. The utility function is given to us over here. This is the wage minus the cost of effort. So we have wage minus one over two theta e to the power of two equals to the alternative utility V, meaning that we can calculate our wage, our fixed salary that we must pay. So that's V and we transfer this term to the right side, plus, plus one over two theta e to the power of two. So we calculated, we calculated our wage. Now with this wage in mind, we have to think what is, what is optimal for the company to what is optimal for the company to you know, make the contract. So the company has a profit level and that profit level is the difference between the total revenue and the total cost. Now the question is what is the total revenue? What is the total cost? Well, we know, we know that the total revenue is the price times the quantity that we sell and the total cost is gonna be the wage that the company must pay, so minus W. Now we also know that the quantity, the quantity, the production is a function of effort is theta times the effort, or I don't know if this is theta, I'm just calling it that way. Uh, this one times the effort, right? So we substitute that, we substitute that into our, into our profit function. So the profit function would look like that, price times, uh, I'm not, no, that's, that's, hold on a second, let me change the letter. I think this one is theta and this one is theta, I, I really don't know Greek. So this times this times the effort, and now minus the wage, and we know the wage, right? We know the, the wage, so the wage is gonna be this one like that, V plus, so we put it in brackets, V plus one over two, theta e to the power of two. Okay, we got that, we got that. What do we want? We want to find out the effort level that's going to be optimal for the company because the effort level determines the production and the production determines how much money the company makes. Hope this makes sense. Meaning that to maximize that, but actually let me just open the brackets to see what kind of relationship we have between the profit and the effort level. Price times theta times E minus V minus the other term, one over two theta E to the power of two. Notice that we have a quadratic relationship between the profit and the effort because effort is to the power of two so that's the quadratic term and the coefficient is minus one over two theta so it's negative meaning that we're going to have a parabola with uh, you know concave shape so the maximum profit level if we suppose that the profit level is on the y-axis the effort is on the x-axis the maximum profit level would be on the peak of this graph and on the peak of the graph we know that the derivative of the profit with respect to effort must be equal to zero so we're going to do that we're going to differentiate the profit level with respect to effort. So profit derivative with respect to effort equals to zero. Now what, what is the derivative of the profit effort, of the, sorry, profit with respect to effort? Well, differentiate every term. P times theta times E, derivative with respect to effort. We just keep the constants, P times theta minus V derivative with respect to effort. That's just a constant derivative, becomes zero, minus one over two theta times E to the power of two derivative. We keep the constant, one over two theta. Derivative of E squared to the, with respect to E is just two E, and we must make this equal to zero. So that's gonna be zero. Now, we cancel out some terms because two and two go away. What are we left with? We have P times theta minus theta times E, theta times E equals to zero. Let's take theta times E to the other side because we need to calculate the effort only. So we take this one to the other side and it becomes positive. We're going to have 
P times theta equals to theta times E. What is the optimal effort level? Well, the optimal effort level that's going to maximize the profits from the, for the company is going to be P times theta divided by T. Hope this all makes sense. And just a real quick intuition here. What's happening? Well, we can see effort depends positively on price. If the price of the product goes up, it's wise for the guy to put in more effort because the company can generate more sales, more money, and therefore pay him a higher wage. So it's in his interest to do so. If technology is better, also, he can produce more because with better technology, production increases, sales increase, more money, more salary for the guy. And if the cost of effort increases, the effort would go down. Why is that? Well, because it's more uncomfortable to work. So therefore, it's harder to produce as much. Hope this all makes sense. Now, with that said, what else do we need? We need to find out the wage that is optimal to charge the guy. And we know that the wage depends on the effort, right? The wage we saw, we saw a couple of seconds ago or, or minutes ago, uh, this is the wage. V plus one over two theta times E square. This one over here. So let's write it down. V plus one over two theta, sorry. V, what was it? V plus one over two times theta times E to the power of two. Now that we found E, now that we find the optimal effort level, we can substitute it into our wage function. So we have the effort of P times theta divided by theta, all of it to the power of two. Now it's a matter of math to open the brackets and see what we get. The wage would be equal to V plus one over two times theta multiplied with, and we open those brackets, we have P to the power of two, theta to the power of two, divided by theta to the power of two. Now if we cancel out some stuff, theta with the theta from here goes away, the wage, the optimal wage that we're looking for would be equal to V plus one over two times P squared theta squared divided by theta. And this is it. We're done with this part. Next video, we go to part B.